this bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first, straight out of your mama's kitchen, Red Velvet. Stirring it up. Red Velvet's always stirring it up. Yeah, she is. Got a great story that we talked about a week ago, Veda. This, this, uh, this young lady has style, I know, and confidence. And uh, for the and second week here, she's got her work cut out for her. And confidence is key because although she does not have the most impressive win-loss record, she's not showing it right now. This looks like a winner to me. I completely agree with you. She is loaded with confidence, Red Velvet is. I like her. I'm a fan. I am a fan. She, like I said, stirring it up. I love people stir it up. Well, you do. <laughs> Couldn't just lay out her uh, opponent. From Chicago, Illinois, Mel. Here comes Mel, one of the biggest and no question, one of the baddest in AEW. And if we're, if we're talking about confidence, this is a woman who found confidence in her time in AEW. Uh, you know, she had her, her head shaved by Brandi Rhodes. I know she hasn't forgotten about that. We saw that in the Deadly Draw Tag sure. Team Tournament. Mm -hmm. And look at that Look at that face. That is just cold. That is calculating. That is confident. I tried having a conversation one time with Mel. One time in my time here in AEW and her okay. time, it didn't go well. She did not want to talk to me. And uh, she just walked away. And I can, to your point, Vade, I can see the look in her eyes. Like, she just despised me. She doesn't talk to anyone. I, I will know. I will tell you that. It's not you. It's not just you right. You might think it was you, but no. it wasn't you. Right, because most people love to talk to me, so I understand. Most, most do. You, just, you throw me softballs over here. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. uh, Red you. Velvet, very oh, evasive. Oh, Red Velvet. Yeah, she's trying to get <laughs> out of the way. That's, that's a good thing to do, but it, I mean, Mel is just stalking her. That's the thing. Take your time, right? If you're Mel, you're a little taller athlete. She's so long-limbed. She, she's got great, you know, range in that ring. You can tell already, just cornering Red red Velvet. Right, she had planted herself in the middle of the ring, and then when she had Red Velvet back in the corner, she stalked her over there. Red Velvet, though, fighting back. That's smart, though. Smart, even though it didn't work all the way, it's smart to be the aggressor when you're giving up sides. Especially early on, because right now she has shocked Mel with this aggression. Look at the look at the split here. Look at the reach with the legs. Great flexibility. Yeah, that's that dance background that she has. Tremendous. Look at that low round kick right to the hamstring, and then one to the other side. Just going back and forth here with these round kicks. Well, now she's focused on the left. Yeah, trying to chop this tree down is what she's trying to do. Here she goes. Oh, oh, she made a mistake hitting the ropes. Gave Mel an opening, and Mel. With a side slam, takes care of it. Big side slam, and you know, Veda falling from that height from someone as tall as Mel, it's, it's not a basic side slam. Right, and she doesn't just she doesn't just take you down, she drives you down into the canvas. And to follow up with something like this, Red Velvet almost cleared the ring. Yeah, Red Velvet, oh my God. Spun around, chucked around. And when someone tosses you by the hair like that, not only is it absolutely physically brutal, it's disrespectful. Mm. You kind of just, you know, ragdolling someone to your point. I understand that. Look at that. Wow, just ramming Red Velvet's head is Mel. Paul Turner, yeah, yes. Paul Turner said, let go there. She said, I got her head. <laughs> Boy, which, she ever. which is not good for Red Velvet either. No. <laughs> well, there is obviously a mean streak to Mel, but a lot of talent in the ring to boot. Look at this pickup. Oh, look at this. Nice. Turn to Cazador. Maybe go for a bulldog, but it didn't work. No. It, well, it, it stunned her for a moment uh, again. Well, well, I thought she was going to nail a bulldog, but she missed it. But yeah, you're right. They'd stun her up. Well, that, but see, that shows awareness. She was able to follow up with that kick to the back of the head. Top rope now. Red Velvet locked in. <laughs> oh, Mel Carter with one hand. Coming off the top, Mel Carter. Look at this. Look at the strength oh, and power. Man. Oh! One, two, Dominant. Three. That's over. No winner of this match. Mel. That's how quickly uh, a lady with the talent of Mel and the ring awareness can win a match, Taz. Yeah, very mean, very aggressive, very uh, focused is Mel. Uh, you can just see that kind of deadpan look. She's just unshaken here, just sure. unbothered. Well, let's take a look here. You see how just clasping, Red Velvet by the throat, almost a sit out, but it wasn't. Dropped to a knee, driving her opponent down and gets the victory, does Mel. No winner of this match. Mel is your winner on AEW Dark. I would like to be heard. I'd like to feel 
included. I'd like to feel respected. I would love a sense of community. I'd like to be taken seriously. I'd like to just be myself. I want to know that I matter, that my thoughts, my perspective, my ideas, my creativity, my happiness, I want to know that it matters. I'd like to do more than just watch. I'd like to actually contribute. I'd like to be part of a movement. I'd like for everyone to feel confident in their own heels.